Well, good Sunday morning, October 24th, 2021. After the failed Facebook Live, which has been the case here uh, ever since their big hack or whatever they did, their certificates and the DNS servers and all that crap, the ability to go live has basically just been shuttered and they won't fix it even the big TV stations are having significant issues going live don't know what the problem is they've tried to address it with Facebook Facebook don't care so again folks I'm telling you get over to my YouTube channel smash that thumbs up like button on the videos subscribe hit that little bell icon hit all notifications we gotta hit at least 1000 subscribers if these little puny streamers live streamers out there can get a 30,000 follows or subscribers on YouTube and I've got almost 80,000 followers here between the three pages. I know we can get 1,000. I mean, come on. You get your notifications on the YouTube app instantaneously. As soon as I go live, bing. As long as you've got that all notifications uh, selected on the little bell icon, you're going to get that notification. Bam, 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 bam just like that whereas Facebook may not send you a notification for 30 45 minutes that I've been live so you catch it after the fact this is how pathetic Facebook has become they're going the way of MySpace they've got too many issues so get over to my YouTube channel Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Don't cost nothing to subscribe. Hit that little bell icon. Select all notifications. You're done. And then share. I digress. It is what it is. So here's your three hour continuous ra radar loop live. Um as I'm recording this so as you can see we've had uh, we've got a little short wave moving through and it's streaming in moisture from the Gulf this will pass later today but for the short term most everybody sees at least a little bit of rainfall this morning uh, and then later this afternoon then it's gone um, then we dry out and then we get into Tuesday and Wednesday so what I'll do real quick here is I'm gonna go ahead and close the radar loop here and let me take away the text annotation here and radar let me bring you over real quick to uh, day four now so as you can see they've adjusted the slight risk uh, for severe weather a little bit again we'll zoom in here and it goes as far west as Doosan Maurice Erath uh, Church Point up here to Ville Platte, Bunky, Cheneyville, uh, and then Deville, and up into Winsboro, and Delhi before turning eastbound. So what I've got to point out is that on the periphery of this slight risk, you're going to have a marginal risk 
that would probably is going to be set up like this. So everybody in here uh, will be in a green marginal risk for the possibility of some isolated severe weather. So uh, timing right now, we'll take a look at that real quick here in just a moment. But the main threats still localized strong damaging winds in excess of 60, 65 miles per hour and isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. <coughs> the strong shear, the level jets, um, instability, moisture return from the Gulf all should be sufficient enough uh, to pop off some strong to possibly severe storms which ha would have the potential to uh, kick out some damaging winds again in excess of 60 65 miles per hour or spin up an isolated weak tornado here or there so that's still the focus again when our seventh season uh, seventh and final season of the year uh, I should say not the final season because we still got winter to get to yet so uh, let's call it the sixth season the winter would be the seventh and final season but uh, it's our fall severe weather season um, we've been really quiet on severe weather this year mother nature has behaved with the exception of Ida that's an isolated event. We're going to talk about severe weather, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Uh, it's not been as active this year as it normally is. So we've gotten off lucky on that. But um, as you can see, things are going to start to ramp up. I've been talking about the arrival of our fall severe weather season and it's on its way. Now as we get this pattern flip, uh, things begin more interesting, begin to get more interesting as far as the colder weather goes. Um, we're headed towards winter. That's to be expected. So um, next weekend, by weekend for LSU, I don't think that rest is going to help them with Alabama. Whew. It's just it, it, this season for LSU has been a dumpster fire. Um, maybe the Saints can keep rolling. Who knows? But anywho, um, going to be a beautiful weekend. Beautiful weekend, the trick or treat. It's going to feel semi like fall. Uh, temperatures will begin to moderate a little bit uh, as we get towards the next weekend and it'll be a little bit warmer than what we're going to get after the front frontal passage here on Wednesday and the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So um, it's still going to be very, very pleasant outside. Uh, next weekend be perfect to get out, barbecue, um, and just enjoy the weather. So we'll go ahead and take off the severe risk area and let's kick in now to our uh, radar reflectivity here. So this is 72 hours out. What I need to do is go back uh, 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning. 7 a.m. Thursday morning. So let's take a look. We'll look at a 48 hour loop from Tuesday morning into Thursday morning. <coughs> it should give us a pretty accurate look as far as the operational GFS goes. This is the overnight run. We'll have the morning run out later today. Um, we'll see how this is looking here uh, timeline wise, at least with the GFS. This 
at 7 a.m. Tuesday is about 54 hours out from the 06 run. We can take a look at what the uh, the NAM is showing since it goes out to 60 hours. And it give us a little better peak in the Tuesday morning, if you will. At least mid-morning Tuesday or late morning Tuesday. Now these frames are still loading up. So, give it a second here. So the timing is shifted back now to overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. You can see things are really lit up here in southwest Louisiana um, as this thing rolls through. It's pretty strong thunderstorms coming in with this line. And let's go ahead and advance this, and we'll see what happens here. Still got this big hot spot from Natchez down to Ville Platte. Um, that could be a concern. And along the Mississippi River again through uh, mid-morning on Wednesday. And as we're punching through here, uh, a really big hot spot here uh, during mid-afternoon, noontime forward through uh, southwestern Mississippi. But not too bad for southeast Louisiana uh, overall. But, and then by Wednesday night, it's out of here. So uh, let's go down and take a quick look at the NAM. Um, let's see. This will be 7 a.m. This is the 06 of the NAM as well. So let's just see what it shows. Go to 8 a.m. 9. This would be Tuesday morning. Let's get a broader perspective here. 10 a.m., 57 hours out. 58 hours. This would be 11 a.m. And noon, 59 hours. And then 1 p.m., 60 hours out. So right now, NAM keeps things quiet uh, Tuesday. Uh, morning and afternoon, same as with the operational GFS, and things really start to ramp up uh, Tuesday night and the Wednesday morning and early afternoon. So, uh, again, we're still a little too far out. Tomorrow, we'll have a better idea uh, once we start to get into uh, the short to medium range guidance, then we'll have a better idea of just what we might expect. Right now, it's just a tad too far out um, for the time being. The NAM and the, the uh, GFS seem a fairly good agreement on the timeline. So, uh, as far as intensity guidance and anything like that, that's still uh, to be determined. Uh, GFS does paint some very strong thunderstorm activity uh, moving through the region. Now whether that translates into southeast Louisiana or not, that remains to be seen. But it does look like we get nailed here in southwest Louisiana uh, by some strong thunderstorm activity as the front begins to roll through. <coughs> so uh, also once we get uh, closer and we can start to use the high resolution models uh, that'll give us an even better look so uh, for right now you know just plan on uh, Tuesday night and the day overnight and the Wednesday morning mid morning early afternoon that's going to be your uh, preliminary time frame right now for any of this stuff so unfortunately it's going to be a nocturnal event for most of us uh, from west to east and then daybreak 
forward in the late morning, early afternoon from basically uh, Lafayette eastward into uh, Baton Rouge and over into the Slidell, New Orleans area. Uh, can't really say how bad it's going to get right now. It's just too soon, too early uh, in the discussion. Models seem to be in fairly good agreement right now. We'll see what the morning runs say versus these, what these overnight runs are saying. You know, we could see some fluctuations and changes, but right now, look, folks, um, you know, just be prepared. Have multiple ways to get weather alerts. Um, again, if you guys can get over to YouTube, make the free account. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe just means you're following it, just like you would do here on Facebook. Uh, always hit the thumbs up like button. Hit that little bell icon. Select all notifications. And anytime I post, or eventually when I'm able to go live on YouTube, you'll get those notifications instantly through your YouTube apps on your phones. So. Um, as simple as that. Facebook is basically destroyed live streaming. So, um, you know, let's get over to YouTube. Let's get it done. You guys follow the heck out of me here on Facebook. Got to break the addiction, folks. It's time to go to YouTube. much more stable better better resolution things are much more stable on YouTube and once we get to that point I'm gonna select some mods to help me moderate the channel because YouTube has a lot of trolls and we need to ban them from the channels that's the only bad thing about YouTube. It's basically like Twitter. It's just filth. They come from everywhere. They're like cockroaches. You go live, they come out of the woodwork. And so, uh, you want to be a mod on the YouTube channel? Uh, feel free to inbox me. Uh, we'll talk about it. And... Um, you know, I'm going to need somebody that's going to be able to be on their toes and I'll watch, you know, and, and deal with these trolls because when I'm live streaming, I'm not going to be able to watch the channel and that that chat goes at the speed of light, which I may just disable the damn chat feature entirely during the live streams. That, that's the only thing. It's just allow, you know, comments after the live stream is done. Um, that's one way, but I'd rather be able to interact with everybody, you know, during the stream. So, um, we'll see what kind of uh, options are in place uh, to handle the trolls a little bit, but um, we've got to get this done, folks. It, it's, it's as simple as that. So, Again, head to YouTube, uh, watch this video on YouTube, uh, hit that thumbs up like button. Don't much care if you hit it thumbs up like button on Facebook, just make sure you do it on YouTube. Hit smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, bell icon, all notes, select all notifications, and share. That's how you expand the algorithm. That's how you expand our reach. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, out. And I'll be monitoring. I can still post the static images uh, to Facebook. But uh, live streams basically going to be done. So uh, you know, unless Facebook actually fixes things. 
uh, I've got a good connection uh, here so uh, it's not my end this is on Facebook so until they fix it we're dead in the water so that I appreciate everybody tuning in and we're going to talk to everybody again later.